Hello. So um, now time to get question eight, nine, and hopefully 10 done all in one video. I've left my scientific calculator at work, so I'm working off my phone for a calculator. I'm as bad as the kids I have to tell they can't do it to. So uh, anyway, right. Use income tax and national insurance in the prelim. So I've got that on my other screen. So just pull down my prelim stuff there. That's great. And then we've got the prelim stuff, obviously, on the other side. So the prelim material, if you want to pause the video when I show it, uh, please do. So national insurance information's there. And here's the income tax information as well. Just hide that bit there. Okay, so um, let's go into this then. So duh, duh, duh. where are we at? Anna has an annual salary of 116 thousand pounds a year she has reduced personal allowance as her salary is over a hundred thousand pounds work out her personal allowance so um, if your annual income is more than a hundred thousand pounds your personal allowance is reduced your personal allowance goes down for one pound for every two pound that your income is above a hundred thousand so that is sixteen thousand pounds over and i need to write this tonight one one six zero 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 take away 100 so we're 16,000 pounds above and it goes down by one pound for every two pounds means divide by two which is 8,000 so her personal allowance is reduced by 8,000 pounds and then where is the personal allowance taxable income first annual amount tax free income standard personal allowance is 12,000 500 so we then take away the 8000 12500 zero, zero, take away 8000 and that gives us 4500 for that okay hopefully that's good um we're going to have to use this in our next calculation but if you don't quite get that right then you should be okay moving into your next one so it should be like follow through marks so if you get the wrong answer there you can use that personal allowance later um or you know, it might just be safer to, to not do that at all. So, right, next bit. Uh, da, 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 get the right page for this. So, okay, income tax rates. So, Carlos has an annual salary of £165,000. He pays income tax and national insurance but has no other deductions. So, going back to this bit here, um, it does say, this means that your personal allowance is zero if your income is over is £125,000 or over. So he gets this, Carlos, he gets no personal allowance. Everything here is taxable. He pays national insurance and he pays tax. So first thing I want to do is £165,000 uh, times by, he says, I pay more than two-fifths of my salary in income tax and national insurance. So let's work out what two-fifths is. So we're going to multiply by two-fifths, 165,000 divided by five, times by two, and that's going to be £66,000. Um, so we're going to see whether he pays more than that or whether he pays less than that. So the first thing we need to work out is 37500, which is his first bit. And we're going to multiply that by 0 0.2. Then we've got £150,000, take away 37500 so that's £112,500, which is at the 40% rate. And then finally, over the 150k, that's going to be 15000 Just so you know, it is, you can't do it this way if there is a personal allowance. We're just taking that whole salary. I just want to check that we're okay. Uh, 37500 plus 112500 plus 15000 Good. I want to check that adds up to the total. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing myself a disservice here. Um, it's got to add up to that salary. Uh, if you were checking it and there was a personal allowance, you've got to add it all up and then add the personal allowance on it. And that should make that salary to begin with. 37,500 times by 0 0.2. That gives us 7,500. 112,500 times by 0 0.4. That's 45,000. And then finally, 15,000 times by 0 0.45 is 6750. So add all of these up, add 45,000, add 7,500. That is 
59,250. Now that is just tax. We've still got to work out the national insurance. Um, so that's on the next page of the prelim material. Okay, a person has a yearly income of... So, I think that the personal allowance is applied here. I think that we've still got to do that. So I'm going to take off 95,000. So 165000. It doesn't say that he gets no personal allowance here. So 9500 equals 165000. Take away 9500. Right, so 155500. So that means like 9500 of his salary is at 0% up to so 50k take away 9500 is 40,000 so 40,500 that's in the 12 percent and then actually everything else I didn't really need to work that bit out did I I didn't need to work that bit out the rest of it that's 50k everything above 50k is at two percent so 115,000 is at 2%. Okay, let's work these two values out. So 40,500 times by 0 0.12, 115000 times by 0 0.02, 40500 times by 0 0.12. So that's the 12% bracket. 4860, 115000 times by 0 0.02, that's the 2%, 2300. If there, people, when they talk about Increasing taxes, I'll increase that 2%. I'll increase that 2%. National insurance, very important. Those taxes go to some very, very important causes in the UK. Add those up, 7,160. Right, now add the previous amount, which is 59,250. Hopefully I've wrote that properly. So plus the 59,250. And we get 66,410. So... Carlos says, I pay more than two-fifths, and I would say, Carlos is correct. And then just write, yep, he is paying 66,410, which is more than two-thirds, uh, two-fifths, sorry, which would be 66,000. Okay, great. So that is question eight done. 11 marks, huge marks. Right, question nine is histograms. Let's just check the timer. Got plenty of time to do this one. The histogram shows some information about the lengths L of, a, of fish sold in a month. Uh, work out an estimate for the number of fish with lengths in the interval 4.5. So I'm hoping there's no scale factors here. Ah, it says this is 20 fish. So this in here, if this is 20 fish, the base of 2 and a height of 10, that means that that value there, and I shouldn't write it there, I'm going to write it here, that's worth 10. So every little square is worth 10. On the frequency density because we have frequency density times by the class width which equals your frequency and that's a really useful formula triangle to have okay so if that is equal to 20 fish oh, thank you so much for giving me that key uh, 4.5 is going to be between here and here and then i'm just going to draw that out so it's 4.5 there six there so it has a width of 1.5 and then it has a height of 10 12 14 16 so 16 times by 1.5, 16 times by 1.5, 24 in this bit here. So that is 24. And then the other bit between there and there has a base of 4 and a height of 32, 34. 34 times by 4 gives me 136. 34 times by 4 equals 136. And therefore add the 24 on, it's 160 fish. 160 fish. Okay, happy with that. Last bit, B. The garden centre sold 96 fish with lengths in the interval 10 to 4. So 96 divided by 4, 96 divided by 4, gives us 24. So we need to have a height of 24 of the graph. So 20, 22, 24, of course. He will be much more accurate using ruler p 
pen pencil. So there we go, that's got a height of 24, it's got the base of 4, 4 times 24 makes the 96, and that is our final bit of the graph. Okay, four minutes to the last one. I can do this. Okay, this is hard without the calculator, but I'm going to try and make it work. So on the formula sheet, the formula sheet says, right, the sum of m k equal to 1 a k over 1 plus i t k. That's all in a bracket. Basically, what this means is, right, and this is all equal to c. Um, Lucy wants a loan for £1,200. So £1,200. And we need to work out how much she's going to pay. So this will equal a payment. And then that payment will be over 1 plus the interest rate, which is 20.5%. So 1.205. And then that is only going to be um, to the power of 1. Okay. Because that is the first year. Then we have to add. Same amount because we want to pay two equal installments. Sorry for not reading that question to you, but we're going to pay the equal installments, and this is going to be 1.205 squared. So, first thing I'll do here 1200 equals, um, we need to do 1 divided by 1.205, which gives me 0.82987552x, and then the other one. 1.205 times by 1.205, that's the squared bit, so that becomes 1 over 1.452025. Put that into the calculator, 1 divided by 1.452025, and that is now 0.68869338x. Right, add these two together, so that plus 0.8. 2987552 gives me 1200 equals 1.5185689x. And then we have to divide it. I'm just going to put x equals. So divide by that value 1200 divided by 1.5185689. And our answer is 791.2. And then it's 17685, and we will give it as 790.22, because around it's two decimal places for money. Right, I hope that's made sense. Good luck in your exams tomorrow. Please like and subscribe, of course, spread the word. I'll try to do some paper two stuff tomorrow. I do paper two B, so that's what I'll be doing. Good luck, get a night, good night's sleep, and good luck tomorrow. Bye-bye.